so what's up guys how to do welcome to today's edition program users tv this is actually a very simple tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to teach you guys how you can create an xml file okay so suppose for example you have a folder like this one actually you have a project and inside our bin slash debug we want to create an xml file okay so we're going to see how we can programmatically do that one using the xml text writer so go ahead create an empty console application then first and foremost add these ones system system.txt system.xml but then this is the first tutorial in a series of xml tutorials we're going to do okay so we are, will be using the system.xml namespace the classes right there to work with xml first we want to see how we can programmatically create an xml file so first our thing specified our namespace we're going to create our class called program inside the class we're going to create our xml how do we do that one well let's have this static method called create xml now first and foremost we're going to use the xml text writer so which we come right here okay so xml this of course will give us of course a way of work uh, working with the xml so xml text writer writer we instantiate it then first and foremost we're going to pass in the name of the file that we're going to create so products.xml and then we we'll specify the encoding we are going to use the end utf8 and then of course the xml that we're going to create is going to be indented okay so formatting equal to formatting dot indented then of course first to create our xml we start the xml document xml text writer dot write start document then we write the comment xml document comment then of course we start the element okay write start element product then of course we write the items in our xml so we come our element strings xml text writer dot write element string name then of course hp elite book write element string ram for gb processor core i5 and then write element string hard disk 500 gb screen 15 inch then we end the xml document element using the xml write end element then we of course write the end document and then we close the underlying stream so as to release the resources that it was actually occupying having done that one we're going to tell the user to check out the bin slash debug folder in the project for the created xml file okay so that's what we're going to do now we come in our main method basically we invoke the create xml then invoke the read key method okay so this is what we're going to do and then we just come and then run the project so of course by this time round you see we don't have any file right here and if we come click start then this is going to run our project and in a short while you'll see of course our stuff has been created you can see okay check out bin slash debug folder for the created so these are created xml file if i come open it you can see it's actually indented you can see we have our product then we have the name the ram the processor the hard disk the screen etc so this of course is it right here okay you can see these are xml comment and these are our xml elements under the product okay so i've taught you guys a very simple tutorial how to programmatically create the xml element of course you'll find the source code in our website camposha.info for now like this video share it and make sure you guys subscribe to programming users tv take care i'll catch you in the next class